Good afternoon, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Um, I've been asked to come and have a look at this wood burning stove and um, sweep it and get it safe and ready for the winter. And um, unfortunately, there's a lot that needs doing to this one, uh, a, a hell of a lot. And um, I thought I'd just share this with you, this information, because I've never in my life I've been sweeping 24 years and I've never seen the metal back plate. This is a Stovex. Stovex, as you can see. I think it's like a four or five kilowatt, we'll double check. The customer did tell me. And that, that has come out of the back there. It's absolutely, it's busted. never seen that before never never ever seen that it's just incredible it's like literally got sits in there it's been burnt so hot bricks all broken inside let's get my torch because all of a sudden it's typical it's gone really dark now and um which it always does sun's just decided to go in saying that sometimes it looks brighter but you can see all the bricks are cracked the bricks aren't an issue but the gap is too much now so it needs new bricks but look at that the, the back plate look how it's all busted and twisted it up inside and, and you can tell exactly what the problem is they've been look at these nails there can you see the nails they've been burning like uh, treated timbered woods and they've just been cutting it and chucking it in here it's got way too hot and it's cracked the grass. It's not the, the this customer that I'm at now. It's the previous people that had the appliance, and um, basically, it, yeah, there's there's um, it's been really shoddy. Been playing. It's got a register plate with a one meter length pipe um, that goes straight into a chimney. So there's like literally, I tried to take the pipe out so I could inspect the. Um, inspect the, um, the the chimney itself because what, what I normally do is just lean them forward and then drop the pipe down at the back of it but it's a one meter length pipe so the actual all the, the wood burner is going to have to come out normally they're only about just a little bit above the, the register plate so sort of about about there and then they can uh, what I do if they haven't got inspection hatches on either side because obviously in the UK not the US, I might just point that out, but I'm not going to stop doing it because I'm not being sarcastic. But I know your rules are different out there. But in the UK, you, you didn't have to have liners, and, and um, I don't think you still do. I think you can do these pressure tests on them. But this hasn't got any inspection hatches on either side. As you can see up there, there's just literally, it's, it's just put like a, a plate up there on either side. So uh, normally if that happens, you just take the pipe out, but you lean the actual wood burner forwards and drop the pipe down and then you can sweep it, sweep the chimney and then you can put the pipe back. But this has got one that, that literally, it goes, it probably, uh, probably finishes about, I would say about there. So it's, that's how long it is. So it's, it, it needs the actual wood burner to come out, but it's this bit. I've never ever seen that happen before ever i've never ever ever seen that in all my years of sweeping chimneys i mean at the moment as you know that I'm, I'm doing like 55 a week i've never seen that so it's clearly down to what the fuel that was, uh, the previous people were burning in it we can restore it we will restore it i've said to the customer we can i can restore it all back to uh back to its normal uh, form of glory be easy to do we can get all these parts and, and that's what we'll do, we're going to get a new new glass door for it, new back for it, new bricks, new, obviously clearly a new gasket rope, look at that, looks like something out of some one of them jungle films, isn't it, like a grass skirt or something like that, uh, but yeah, it's been, it's, it's in such poor condition, and, and it's moved as well, the cursed moving wood burner, it's trying to creep into the room, but yeah, I just thought I'd um, share that with you, because that's a bit of a head scratcher to to think they actually had one of these as well on there as and it, and it sticks on the actual appliance as well 
um, God knows what temperature that must have been, got to to get that for that to break. So um, um, clearly it can't be used as it is. I'll be explaining it all to the customer and um, she wants me to come back and sort it all out for her. So what I'll do is when I come back, it'll be after Christmas because I'm way too busy with the sweeps at the moment. I'll set up the tripod and then I'll do like, um, I'll go, I'll do the whole lot. We get all the parts for it. We'll, we'll do a complete refurb. We'll sort out that pipe. Um, we'll get it all up and running. There's a, there's a, a hood top cow, um, yeah, on top of the chimney, which needs to come off and need a bird guard fitting on there. They're the, basically like a ridge tile at the top. Um, if, if you know what I mean, they're literally like a ridge tile that sits on top of the chimney pot and they have like a sleeve that sits inside the pot. That, that's no good for an open fire as, uh, or a burner as well. Um, they're very restrictive, but what I'm gonna do after Christmas, I'm gonna do a full video of this, but um, I just thought I'd share that because I've never ever seen, that. I've seen bad chimneys before, and cracked glass and bad gasket ropes, and you know, people burning bad stuff in them, broken bricks. But I've never seen one of them metal plates go like that before, never. That's, that is definitely a first, that is incredible. I mean, what temperature the must have that got to? And and they literally they've had this flue pipe, one meter length flue pipe, that goes all the way in there with no inspection hatches on either side. So I'll speak to the customer about it, get it all sorted out, and then um, and then you'll see the video after Christmas. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Pretty amazing. It's my last job of the day, and um, wow, that's all I can say. It's amazing. Never seen that before, ever. Right, I am just thought I'd uh, finish this off, this video. Um, on top of that chimney, I don't know if it's the same in the US, but in the UK that's illegal to be on there for an open fire or a wood burning stove. Basically, they're, they're not designed for, they're only specifically designed for disused flues only. And um, there's one over there which I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that is all in one pot. They're legal, but they're not. They used to be in the old days, but until some smart ass decided to um, make the sleeves different shapes and sizes. And now, uh, unless you go up there and check it properly, um, which obviously costs money to do that because no one's going to go up there for, for nothing. Um, you don't know what, what, what it is. You can't, you can't measure it unless you go up there. So that they, they did a, a blanket ban on all of them for open fires. Um, it, it, you, you, what you will find is a lot, a lot of places like Brighton and Eastbourne and a lot of seaside places, lot, uh, uh, also in London where they have very tall chimneys. They, you'll see them still on top of there. Um, they can be a bit more uh, laid back a little bit about them because obviously the cost to get one of them taken off is, is, is a lot. A lot of the seafront properties that actually have lot loft hatches, which is really cool. It's great fun. I love I love working on really tall buildings because it's it's um, obviously I don't do any videos and stuff like that because it's it's just not worth the aggro. But um but yeah, basically um they have like uh, these leaded hatches that you lift them up, and then basically what you do is you, you go out and then and uh, you lift them up and then you can climb out onto the roof and then you can like walk along literally walk along. From one end of, of the squares to the other end it's amazing uh, maybe I'll do a video on it one day who knows I might do I might not but uh, but yeah that 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 needs to come off and um, we'll be looking at put, fitting a bird guard on there uh, um, it can be all sorted out as I said what I'm gonna do is after Christmas I'll be back and I'm gonna do the whole job all properly professionally and safe for the customer to be able to use but unfortunately at the moment with um, being so overwhelmed with sweeps at the moment I, all I can focus on is getting all the all the, the customers happy uh, with the fires and get them done and get them all ready for Father Christmas, of course, because he'll be coming soon. What was it, 10 weeks? And he'll be here 11 weeks' time. So, yeah, so basically that needs to come off. So I will explain that to the customer. But, wow, I've never seen one in that such poor condition before. So, yeah, basically, whoa. Oh, what's going on though it's, yeah, it's still on zoom out so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this for the customer and then basically um, and then obviously we're going to go through everything but 
needs to be done but um, it can be sorted out she was talking about getting a, a new one fitted even the pins coming up but um, we, we know that a bit of oil three-in-one oil uh, get that back down and um, but structurally the, the stove's fine there's absolutely nothing wrong with it at all it's in super order it's in really good condition so it's just the insides and the glass and, and obviously the rope sorting out that pipe sorting out the register plate sorting out that bird guard above but it, to, even to get all that stuff done it's going to be a lot cheaper than it is to get a new one fitted and then because if you get a new one fitted as well it's got to be under all the new regulations for now whereas this just to do a refurb is, is going to be from the regulations when it was fitted which is quite a while ago now so um, you know in, so, so in some circumstances it's, it's better to get them refurbished than it is to go and say stuff it let's get a new one because to get a new one it's going to cost you four six thousand pounds um, to get this refurbished I think between realistically maybe between a, a hundred and fifty to three hundred pounds um, I think that would be the, the cost depending on how much that the insides would be and things like that but um, it, it looks like there's a lot of work that needs to be done on it but um, it doesn't really need too much work doing on it so I think it can be sorted out so just thought I'd share that with you this is I'm going to leave it now so it's a lot better and we've straightened it out as well so um you know, it looks nice and presentable in the room because obviously it's in their lounge and, you know, you don't want it to leave it in a mess for them. So um, we'll come back after Christmas and get it all sorted out. But as I said, we'll do a video on it um, and then you'll be able to watch um, the, uh, uh, me doing the refurb. Anyway, have a great day from Zachary from Zachary Sweeps.